Peace and power, family. You're not multi dimensional and you tune in. Now, first up, before I begin this video, don't be fooled by the girl because you see on my eyes. You see, it's a full moon in Pisces and there's water everywhere. So, I'm swimming in reality, all right? You might be seeing it right now, but I'm swimming in this spiritual water. So, I gotta put my goggles on, all right? But don't use that as, don't let that distract you, all right? It's a decoy. Take me seriously. In this video, I'll be talking about the importance of how numbers based upon identity itself can influence the energetic influence, balance or imbalance in our lives based upon where we are, where you live, you know, how old you are, and so on. You see, in this life, I like to talk about something, how we have different dimensions to how reality portrays itself to us. Now you see, in order for you to understand how to see the entity within any dimension, be it your name, your house, your location, you know, you must able to you must be able to understand that everything in this world, based upon structure, you know, has an identity. Now I'll be resonating this idea in terms of where you live, or the class you stayed in school, or your room number in your dormitory or something, or you know, even your age overall. You see, numerological numbers always have energetic uh, uh, influences that they can help us to unconsciously play in our lives to understand unconsciously what it is a certain experience under a certain environment or under you know your name under you know you know your birthday the day you were born you know uh can influence you energetically some people you know use gematria to reach read code into things but in this case scenario i want to give you a different approach on how to do this to see something very unseen now listen right every number okay number right numbering something is the first stage of giving something an identity before you give it a name you see alphabets itself are created by numbers because alpha and beta you know talks about one and two talks about i and o so you know i believe you know there's 12 zodiac signs right in the zodiac wheel you know respectively you know they rule the house systems they have governing house systems which you know will be like aries becomes number one Taurus is number two, Gemini is three, Cancer four, Leo five, Virgo six, uh, Libra seven, you know, um, Scorpio eight, Sagittarius nine, and Capricorn ten, eleven, Aquarius twelve, uh, uh, you know, Pisces and thirteen is Ophiuchus. Now you see, this is very important to understand how certain numbers in our life tell us what exactly is the experience that we have going on. You see, it's very important to experience and move about and be buoyant because life is all about experiences. Even when you don't need to want to experience, you shall and you will experience. But can you be able to use your environment around you to be able to tell what your current experiences are about? You get what I'm saying? Why did I say this? This is why. Because, you see, Saturn governs structures in this world and for everything to have a structure, you know, see, it first begins with identity. Okay, now every house you live in, right, houses, structures, buildings, these things are ruled by Saturn because of structure. And being that they rule by Saturn because of structure, you understand that, you know, they are, um, you know, everything, for something to be an entity in its own virtue, it must have an identity first, right? For example, you talking to me, your identity is your name that your parents gave you. Your awareness is your ability, you know, it's the cells within yourselves right now, your blood cells, your saliva is your cells, your cells, this is your awareness, these things constitute what make you aware, right? A plant is aware, it has a name called a plant, its awareness is its ability to grow and sleep when the sun goes down and wake up when the sun is up and grow, you see what I'm saying? But then, you as an individual and I have awareness of your environment. So your awareness of your environment as a person who is consciously aware, aka a one who is two, three, aka a person who is consciously aware. Now, you know, now you have a body that you're aware within your environment, that's the three. Now you see the four is now being able to judge, you know, but now in this case scenario, remember everything has always been talking to us some type of way. So that you're able to discern that now, your ability to now perceive things up to the seventh dimension of, instead of you perceiving things, because you have the ability to feel from the five and you have love from the six, seven now means that you have that magnetic medium of pulling in this information to communicate to you itself. Okay, so in that being said, you know, this is how numbers can influence us, okay? so. You're an individual, say you're, you're 13 years old. 13 is the number of focus, and 13 is also for the strategy sign cancer. Cancer governs emotions. 13 is a point in our life where we, you know, we say, 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 very, um, 
it's a point of ascension you see of your course deals with ascending all right and four in the other hand deals with emotions you know it deals with nurturing emotions so when you are 13 you know this is a point in time whereby you know you you know you can nurture yourself you get me you're, oh you're now in puberty you're now growing up you can call yourself a teenager or something like that you know because it's, it's it's also placed in the frequency of the number four you get me aka ascending from being a you see what the kid or something or, or, or a lad or a toddler or not a toddler necessarily but you get what i'm saying you know what's considered you know it's considered a state of evolution all right so with that being said this video is to show you to open your mind up to being unconsciously communicated with the environment around you